property 9 can be written as a product of the digits plus the digits themselves, and we're asked to find all other two-digit numbers that satisfy this. So if I write my number as AB, which is in digit form, I can actually then write it alternatively as 10A plus B. For example, 49 can be written as 4 times 10 plus 9. It's going to be more useful to use this form because A and B are now like, um, you know, they're just numbers, whereas here sort of I'm using place value. And then 10A plus B will equal a times b. I'll just write it as a times b for the moment to distinguish it from a, b up here. They are different things. Plus a plus b. And we're interested in solving this equation for values of a and b that are whole numbers. And uh, in fact, they're going to be between 0 and 9 because they're digits. We can immediately minus b from both sides, cancel that out, and minus a from both sides. So 9a is equal to a times b. A is actually non-zero because I'm interested in two-digit numbers, so I can just ignore equaling zero, and I can actually divide through by it to cancel it out, which means B must equal 9. However, there's no restriction on A, so A, as long as it's a, a digit non-zero, we're okay, and therefore we could have 19, 29, 39, and so on. Now, we've already, it does say find all others, so I can ignore 49, I've already got that one, so 59, 69, 79, 89, 99. Right, really nice property that we investigated. These are the numbers that um, satisfy it. It's going to be these eight plus, of course, the 49 that we started with. We're now asked to prove that there are no three digit numbers which are equal to the product of their digits plus the sum of their digits. So we could write this number as ABC, but go straight then to our powers of 10 form, 100A plus 10B plus C. And so um, try to solve this equaling ABC, where ABC now is the, the multiplied together, plus A plus B plus C. And it should note we're seeking to find a contradiction. We're seeking to you know see that this is not possible. Well, just like before, immediately I can cancel out the C's and I can um, I can minus A from both sides and B from both sides. So 99A plus 9B is equal to A, B, C. Now at this point in my solution, I divided through by A and B, but upon making this video, I've realized I shouldn't divide through by B because it could in theory be zero. Now A is not equal to zero, so I'm going to divide through by A. 99 plus 9B over A is going to equal B, C. You know, this is still okay. Um, it just, the thing is that B, C is necessarily going to be less than or equal to 81, since B is less than or equal to 9, and c is less than or equal to 9. So this thing here, however, is definitely going to be greater than 90, or greater or equal to 99. If b is equal to 0, then I would get 99. So there's, there's no way this can work. Um, no solutions. It's just clear. We don't need to say anything else. There is no three-digit number that satisfies this property. Hold on.